Good afternoon and welcome to News 5 at noon. I'm Katarina Lukatech in today for Devin Walsh. We begin with breaking news. The Baldwin County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting. It happened this morning on Collier Loop near Daphne. News 5's Debbie Williams is live on the scene. Debbie, what can you tell us? Katarina, for the last hour or so, you've been listening on WKRG.com and as well as on Facebook Live as this thing has unfolded right here before us. Captain Clint Cadenhead is here with the Sheriff's Office and he is giving a briefing on what they know at this point. We know that one person's been shot airlifted from this scene on Collier Loop, and so we're going to join in on that uh, conversation. There's some other reporters joining in right now. The Again, the, the, the person, there is somebody in custody. And what can you tell us about, is it a, a female or a male? We have a female that is, is a current resident of the residence. Um, like I mentioned, the, the, the person that was shot is a former tenant or former resident here and had come back over to the property to get some of her belongings. Uh, there was an altercation inside the residence. There was a, an actual struggle over the firearm between the current homeowner and the former tenant or homeowner and the firearm discharge striking the uh, victim in the abdomen. And then again, the, the victim was transported uh, via ambulance or air ambulance to South Alabama Hospital. Is it life-threatening injuries or do you have... She was stable. Uh, she was conscious and alert and talking to the investigators and the uh, deputies when they arrived. So I don't have an update or anything on her condition right now. Captain, you said... been here? Uh, we've been here approximately two hours now. Yes, sir. Captain, you were paying a lot of interest to the little car, the, the maroon car. What, right. what, is, what is its role in yeah, this? There was, uh, when the, the person that got shot, there was another adult male and a juvenile female that were all in the same vehicle, the maroon vehicle, when they came over to the house. And then you had two juvenile females inside the house and, again, the current homeowner. So uh, the vehicle belongs to the person that was that was shot, ultimately shot. And of course, no no names at this point or anything like that. Any, yeah, we're not going to release any names right now. We're still trying to work through uh, who who is who and you know go from there. Do you have somebody in custody? Have they been arrested? Or are you still in the talking phases at this point? We have a female that is uh, is being detained right now. That is being cooperative with the investigators in the investigation. Does it appear that there was uh, uh, was this a domestic situation? Or was there an intent? To, to do harm here or no, too early? I, 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 we're not 100. I'm not sure on that. But apparently, again, the former tenant, there is some relationship between all of the parties uh, that one used to date the other one or something like that. So we're, we're again, trying to figure that out. Uh, but it appears that, she, again, she came over here to pick up some property, whether she was invited or not, to get the property. And, again, the altercation occurred inside the house, and there was, a, again, a struggle over the firearm, that, and it discharged. Still a lot of uh, pieces to be put together. Yes, but the, the public, it, 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 this is contained to this? It is very the, much contained, yes, ma'am. And there's no threat to anybody no, out there? No, not at all. Thank you very much, Captain. Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, so we've been out here for uh, the last hour. We've seen uh, lots of investigators out here. This happened... Uh, we, he said that they've been out here for about two hours. We, just before 11 o'clock, got the word that there had been someone shot and that 44-year-old woman airlifted to a local hospital, as you heard him say. Um, everything is contained. They have a person detained. It looks like it was an argument between two women, one that um, used to live at this home, the other one now living at this home to retrieve some property. Things got heated and, uh, and a gun was produced and uh, obviously went off. So we're going to continue to follow this story. We'll have the latest on WKRG.com as well as online and on air. Live on the Baldwin County Beat near Daphne, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.